Hi Leo, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your general reading for April 2022. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice. This way you get all notifications of when I am live. I typically go live on Sundays for all zodiac sign weekly energy and see what's up uh, for the week weekly energy for you. But I also have a membership area, guys, and you can find all of that information on my website in the description box below, whether you wanna book a private reading, you can find that information in there and my membership area, which gives you access to all, unlimited access to all of my daily readings. Monday through Thursday, I do general love and career, and then Fridays, I do all zodiacs for the weekends to see uh, what is going on for general and love. Um, the membership also includes access to my monthly mediumship gallery, sometimes my mini tarot spreads that I do monthly. I alternate those and a group meetup. So if that's something, and you get discounts on everything. So if you want to get a discount on my packages, that's the way to do. And it's only $5 for the readings if you want all the unlimited access to the dailies and extended readings. Or if you want to get the bigger package, which is $10, which includes all those discounts um, and then those monthly meetings as well. So without further ado, we are going to get Leo into your reading, okay? We're going to start off with the Oracle decks, then get into the Tarot spread, which is the beginning, middle, and the end. I never say month anymore because time is fluid, even though we're pulling in April's energy. Pay attention more to the storyline and what those actions take in place. It is general, meaning it's not going to resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't force anything to fit. But remember, if it's a good reading, you should still claim it. Manifest that. Manifest it, Leo. All right, here we go. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Leo this month. What is going on for Leo in April? <clears throat> what is going on for Leo in April? We're going to start off with the dragon energy. Dominance. Believing in yourself. Having the confidence here, okay? There is a major action that needs to take place, all right? Maybe I'm talking to a Leo here that um, I just feel like there's something here where it's you're going to have to take stock of, okay? You may have felt a little bit uh, discombobulated or feeling like um, a little bit passive, not really taking charge, all right? But there is something that is needed here to take charge of believing in yourself and with two that's about partnerships okay so you might have to make adjustments here on your partnerships because we have adjustment here which states looking back moving forward looking back moving forward i think you're done looking back all right it's like uh i don't want that anymore right like i gotta have i have to move on move forward okay there's something here that's not equal give and take. There's something here. I'm talking to a Leo here that who's not very balanced because we have a six here and that's about balance. Not balanced in partnerships in some way, shape or form, whether it's love, family, friends, workers, coworkers. There's something here that needs to be, you're making adjustments on. And notice how these two women are looking back. Doesn't mean that you're a woman. I'm just saying the women on the cards, all right? Looking back, like, psh. Do I really want that? Do I really want that? You've been sitting in something for quite some time. You've wisened up though. I know you have. You got that owl energy right on there. But let's see. Here we go. Wow. We have the Knight of Coins. Man, so many have started off with the Knight of Coins. Literally, so many of these signs I've been doing today have been starting off with the Knight of Coins. Knight of Coins is going towards the sun towards that ace of swords with the knight of swords here reverse interesting middle has to do with the four of wands the two of swords <clears throat> the five of cups there's that looking back but it's reversed with the higher font reversed interesting um we have the king of swords here who is also reversed with the knight of <clears throat> there's that knight of wands look there's that passion. There's that drive that you're getting here. Moving away for something with the two of wands energy. And we have the king of wands. Wow, Leo, your own energy. You're take, you have confidence here. What's this? Moving. Moving on. Moving forward to get that world energy. There is an open map here for you to discover. Leo, 
You have an open mat, mat here towards your rewards. All right. Some of you, this is moving something that you're going towards that um, this could be a job move, a relationship move, just moving in general for life purpose or to have a new start. Leo, there's something here big. The world, that's the last card in the major arcana. So let's start off. This has been something slow that you've been working towards, okay? I feel for many of you, <clears throat> having the practical things in life or having that stability is very important for you so that not only you have clarity on what you're going towards, but it's about having enjoying the ride as well, I'm hearing, towards that happiness here. And I do feel for many of you, you could be doing really well financially, um, or you're just having stability that you haven't had before, but I feel like you have clarity here w of things that are not working out for you. And it does feel strongly like a partnership here, okay? Um, I'm going to be general here because partnerships don't always have to be about love. But the Knight of Swords, which is usually quick communication, something coming in really quickly with a message, but notice there's like a 10 on his plate. So this to me is like a final message. Could be you giving a final message to an individual or someone giving you a message. But with the Knight of Swords reverse, this is news that is like not good. Not good news. It's not. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is brash. Someone's coming in brashly. And I feel like, boom. Either you're laying the law or someone else is trying to lay it to you and you're finally speaking up for yourself. Leo, what you have been working on is a partnership here, all right, with that four of wands, okay? Could be married to this individual, uh, could be work-related, could be someone who's a longtime friend, but this is somebody who you built something with for quite some time. Whatever this message is, it is going to make you feel a little bit stuck, uh, like which direction do I go in, all right? But it's funny because I feel like whatever guilt or shame or missing with the five of cups of something not emotionally being there anymore, notice how there is two cups here. So there's definitely an adjustment on a partnership here, all right? But with the reversed, I feel like you're not looking at the cups. You're looking at an adjustment of making a new partnership with somebody here, okay? Now, this, this new partnership may not be in process you might not, may not be here yet um but you're not looking back at a situation on this all right i feel like whatever it is you're realizing here with the higher font which is usually about a contract about something feeling like you were bound to an individual is reversed so i feel like this contract is being broken the higher font also reverses usually about doing something that has something that is very formal but with it reversed it's saying there's a need to do something or think outside of the box so what you may be doing to adjust or move with that dominance energy of taking action, I feel like it may be something that you do outside of the box here to get what you want, all right? Now, the King of Swords, he's usually someone who's very honest, authentic, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, but can kind of come off cold. This person's very business oriented. It's all about work, not really heart space. But with it reversed, this person is very ruthless. They're very cutting with their words. Um, they don't care how hard they hit either, all right? So they can be extremely blunt, but it's enough to get you running. And I feel like the termination and the passion you have is like, holy shit, there's way better options out there. What am I doing with this individual, <laughs> okay? There's something that this individual says to you that is finally, either they say it to you or they do something that you have to say and give them brash information back. But I feel like it's enough to push you forward, okay? Some of you, it's pushing you forward to move out. Some of you, it's pushing forward to like put a resume out, um, you know, try to find something new. Some of you are looking at a new place to live, I'm hearing. That's where that world energy comes in. But now with your own energy here, Leo, with the King of Wands, this is someone who finally has the confidence to do something and take actions that feel right to them, all right? This King of Wands has been through stuff, but they're very passionate, very loving. They take care of themselves. And I feel like there's something here that you're determined now to take stock and take care of you, I'm hearing, take care of myself, all right? 
So let's see what this move is going to bring with the outcome cards for Leo. What is this going to bring, Leo? Spirit? I'm using the vice versa deck. I do not use um, <clears throat> reversals on here. We have the High Priestess followed by the... <laughs> wow! We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Followed by the Six of Swords. Moving on. Moving on with the world. Again. Again. Wow. Let's talk about this. You intuitively know what to do. You have been... You know, the High Priestess... The High Priestess is the secret keeper. I feel like for... You have been trying to get out of the situation, Leo, for quite some time. And now it's just, you may have been working on leaving this situation, leaving the job, leaving this person, kind of hidden about keeping it to yourself, all right? Using your intuition, talking to your guides, your ancestors, your ascendant masters to help you get those rewards. You're facing the world. You're facing the unknown, all right? There's something that you're facing here. And it's a, like the universe is like, you've manifested, because this is the magician, even though it's the Wheel of Fortune card with a completion. It's like spirits here to say, you manifested this change by taking the actions. This isn't just using the law of attraction. This is using the law of polar polarization. I'm hearing you're taking the actions here. You're realizing that the good and the bad, they're connected with one another, that you have to be in vibration to get this, right? You're like, all right, I have the courage to do this. What do you have the courage to do? move on and the six of swords even though it's moving towards calmer waters it's still swords energy so i feel like you're communicating that you are moving on this communication could be finally giving notice finally putting divorce papers in finally telling a person you know how they make you feel and that you're leaving but you're being pushed out like literally thrown out there right into the great wide open and many of you have really been asking for this okay a lot of, I just keep hearing a lot of travel for some of you. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's this journey is leaving you feel exposed, but you're having an open heart about this. Okay. She's kind of facing it, but her arms are, but she's not going in there thrown. It's like, I'm just have to go and surrender to this. What is the universe bringing to me? This is the transformation. Look at the snake here. The transformation is coming in place for you. All right. So just to wrap this in, I feel like you are finally taking charge. You are making adjustments on a partnership that no longer serves you. And you're moving on to something that's going to allow you to expand, to see the world, Leo. All right. That's what I got for you this month. If it resonated, go ahead and hit like, comment below. And don't forget to claim it if it hasn't resonated. Just the fact that you are the magician energy. And if this is the reading that you want with this, manifest that because... Universe will bring it in for you, all right? And if not, I will see you guys over on my private Facebook group. It's a private group. It's called Harmonia Friends. It's free, guys. Um, that's That area is a membership area, but it's not. It's different than my membership on my website. That's a free area. Other readers go on there to give readings. We collaborate with each other, um, but it's an amazing soul tribe. And if you're looking for that emotional support or just fun group of people, check it out. Take care.